Hi guys, Tungster here. It has been a while since I uh, did a video, so basically having some health issue and some work issue, but now all is good. So let's take a look at this plaster that we have over here today. Now at first glance, you might feel that this looks uh, familiar. Yes, it, it is. It looks like the uh, Swain Balance too. But in closer inspection, actually, you can notice that it is an addition of a front priming mechanism over here. So in fact, this is a collaboration between Swain as well as uh, Black Reason. Okay, so they have now uh, include a front priming mechanism over here and they call this blaster the Avalon. Alright, so you can get it from Black Reason. So they have the distribution right outside of China and they, they do ship internationally. So let, let's go through what we have over here with this uh, particular collaboration blaster between Swain and Black Reason. Right, I'll put the link in the description uh, on where you can locate it. Right, so how should I describe this? Uh, initially, I only saw pictures of this blaster itself. Now I have it on hand. Man, basically, uh, it looks like a sports car but feels like a tank. <laughs> yeah, so this thing is like fully kind of uh, a CNC material except for some uh, parts like for example the top over here as well as the butt over here. Right, so it is <laughs> basically not okay basically you can kind of twist it click it or whatever a pretty pretty solid like i said it felt like a tank right so again uh, the top barrel over here it does comes with the swing kind of a uh, quick uh, attachment uh, mechanism over here if you buy the swing kind of a uh, well, uh, scar barrel itself yeah so to operate it it's very simple now you have the front priming as well as the side prime over here so with the addition of the front prime i feel it's a lot a lot better for usage in my opinion i don't really like the side prime okay so the priming is on a ball bearing as you can see over here so it's going to be very smooth right so as you can see over here so you can maintain it as well so of course if you prefer the side prime you still have the side prime over here to prime your blaster itself now you might be thinking does it need to be on one side no uh, you can actually dismantle the blaster and just rotate it to the other side and then your side prime can be on the left as well right so that is the priming. It does not have any return spring, so you do have to push it back yourself and kind of uh, make sure you push it forward and do the firing so that you have a better seal. All right, no firing off. All right, so uh, the seal is pretty good. All right, so everything over here is like you know, the side pieces are one whole piece of kind of thick <laughs> CNC piece, so it's really, really sturdy. There's no quick, good, uh, no, uh, no twisting or whatever, it is just one solid piece right okay so uh what else basically the uh, magazine release over here right so to release it you do have to prime the blaster so that also means that you do have to prime the blaster in order to load your magazine itself okay so the magazine itself okay okay you just pull it down just put it down this blaster is not exactly like so the magazine itself is also their own branding over here and it is also a kind of a metal material over here right so uh yeah <coughs> okay now uh you might be thinking okay i'm gonna <laughs> need to spend a lot on magazine now the good thing is this blaster itself it also take a uh, worker mag right so over here it also takes a worker mag so if you have worker mag okay it does take a worker mag okay over here now i notice when loading the uh, worker mag uh you do have to kind of force it a little bit so for it to catch better and then it does take Worker mag and yeah, so yeah, so that's how uh, we can do it, right? So uh, let me just try another one. What about this telemag as well? Okay, so you do have to right jam it up a little bit, okay, so that you, you know it fits better. Well, I guess uh, maybe a little bit of fouling will will help. Okay, and there we go. Yep, yep. So it does take that. Okay, so take note. Right. Okay, what else uh, is there? So let me just put it one side. Okay, uh, as mentioned, everything is like a uh, kind of fully metal, even the uh, release over here. You can see over here, right? So uh, I'll say uh, dismantling this may be a little bit of a uh, kind of a, a work because there are quite a number of screws. So maintenance wise, yeah, okay, that is something that you need to take note of. Of course, you do have access to you know, kind of uh, lubricate the uh, priming. Uh, from no, not uh, dismantling it so I guess that's a little bit 
actually not too bad okay but if you were to like more to, to access to the internal you do need to do some work now something to again uh, reiterate okay to load the magazine you do have to prime the blaster because the one that is uh, offered by black reason as of now it doesn't come with the so-called vanguard a kind of uh, uh, kind of design whereby you can put in the blaster even without priming so that's something to take note of and now if you deprime you might hear this sound right okay again okay. <laughs> yeah okay so initially i thought oh, okay is there something wrong with the blaster itself so i checked with the uh guys at um uh, black reason so it is a a it, it is what it is okay uh it's just uh, the way that it's, it's being designed so there is such a sound uh doesn't mean that the blaster is broken or, or you affect the performance so it is what it is so just take note if you got a blaster and you make that kind of sound if you deep prime it okay don't be alarmed All right so that is more or less it uh okay again the contour is pretty good okay uh yeah and there's one thing that probably you 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 also want to take note it doesn't come with the so-called the front uh prime right it's this 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 sorry I, I let me rephrase it doesn't come with this uh uh priming bar right you have to buy your own priming bar to fit okay so uh good and bad so at least you get the to choose uh, what you want okay and uh yeah one thing to note uh if you want to position it okay try not to position it too close over here or else you're gonna hit your hand when you kind of prime right or you have to and I'll get used to it so you can put it slightly more to the front all right okay so uh, we'll go for the FPS test with what is kind of uh, kind of the the, uh, the the setup that it comes with it and uh, yeah we'll look at the uh, final conclusion All right, so now that we have seen the FPS, I must say it is pretty good performance right out of the box. Of course, I did not tweak it. I didn't do anything with it. Okay, so that is what it is. Uh, okay, and uh, now final thoughts. This blaster, of course, it is not exactly budget friendly. Okay, it costs uh, quite, uh, it does come with a very high price tag. But of course, if you look at the material being utilized over here, and uh, yeah, so this is pretty much a very solid kind of uh, blaster itself. Now, uh, something that I miss, right, if we compare to size, which compared to the other blaster that I really like is of course the G2. So you can see that this is the G2, the size of the G2. Okay, so it's not exactly that big as, uh, yeah. So G2 is basically very light and uh, very lightweight and uh, pretty, pretty, pretty kind of solid as well. Was, that's why it's one, it's one of those blasters I really like. And this is another kind of uh, blaster. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, very kind of sturdy, like I say. No, uh, no. And I'll, I'll say this is, uh, how should I put it? Um, it just didn't have all the gimmicky stuff. Okay. It's just basic. Okay. And uh, yeah. And uh, with all the necessary items. Uh, yeah and just perform as it is like a fully mechanical stuff so you don't have to worry about any electronic or anything else at all okay so if you're a collector yep this is one that should be on your list okay if you are a kind of no uh pretty pretty uh active uh, playing i think this is pretty a uh, pretty solid offering as well uh, it will last you pretty long in my opinion and it is in terms of operation feels good okay and uh yeah 
And the good thing is, of course, you can get it uh, if you're from Singapore. You, you don't need to mess around with any of the import stuff. You can get it locally from black raisin. And of course, uh, if you're international, they do ship international. You can contact them or uh, what other uh, requirements and uh, find out more from them. Yep, so I'm Tungsten. Thanks for watching. I do have a few blaster on the pipeline that I just didn't have time to make, but hopefully I, I'm able to. And ah, uh, yeah, give me a like and uh, follow. Really appreciate. Thanks. Bye.